Building your confidence. Although some people may be deficient in confidence, situations or people can either build your confidence or tear it down. Confidence is the feeling that one can rely on someone or something. It's a firm trust. But confidence is very essential. Lack of confidence brings about low self-esteem, making you feel bad about yourself, feeling unlovable or awkward or incompetent. It is also said low self-esteem can lead to mental and physical health issues like depression, anxiety, and anorexia, as well as other unhealthy habits like smoking, alcohol abuse, and drugs. So how do we build our confidence? To build means to construct something by putting parts or materials together to increase the size, intensity, or extent of. So in order to build our confidence, we must put things or people in our lives that increase our potential and happiness and not drain or discourage us. Watch out for persistent negative people and self-absorbed people. They are always right in their own opinions and do things that make them look good. They see the world only through their eyes. They can dish out criticism, but they can't take criticism. Also, don't put yourself in situations that you know are not good and will eventually do you harm. But think on things that make you smile or you have fond memories of. Think on accomplishments you've achieved or helped others to achieve. But one of the greatest ways of building your confidence is by meditating on the Word of God. But don't just plop open the Bible and read the first thing that comes to your eyes because you may get something that discourages you. Like Matthew 27 and 5 that says, Judas went out and hung himself. But specifically, think on scriptures that encourage and build you up that God has promised you in his word. Now, here are 12 verses to help get you started. Number one, Psalms 125 and 1. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. Number two, Philippians 1 and 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he which have begun a good work in you shall perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. Number three, 2 Timothy 1 and 12. For the which cause I suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Number four, Psalms 27 and 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Number 5. 1 John 5, 14 through 15. And this is the confidence that we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Number six, Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Number seven, Jeremiah 32 and 27. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Number eight, Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Number nine, Romans 8 and 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Number 10, 
Romans 8 and 37. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Number 11, Jeremiah 31 and 3. The Lord have appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Number 12, Hebrews 13 and 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Now these are just a few verses to help build your confidence. You can add as many scriptures as you like. But always remember, don't allow others or circumstances to destroy your confidence, but be determined to build yourself up by praying in tongues and meditating on good things from the Word of God. That's Jude 1 and 20. Remember, get calm. God is taking care of me.